Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sarah Bow and I am a singer-songwriter and I'm also a college student at the Ohio State University. I'm so excited to be going back this semester in a couple of weeks now, but I know that college can be scary for people that are just going to it. It definitely was nerve-wracking for me and a lot of you guys asked for some tips for freshmen. So I've been thinking about these tips a lot and I actually came up with five that I really wanted to talk to you guys about. These are things I wish I knew as a freshman and since I can't go back and tell myself these tips, I figured might as well tell you guys, help you out. There are some things that I can't prepare you for for college. It's a huge culture shock and it can be nerve-wracking and you're gonna grow so much because of that. But there are some things that I know will help you out. So with that being said, let's get into the first tip. First tip is stop spending so much money before you get to college. This relates to textbooks, dorm supplies, and school supplies. I know it's really fun to go shopping. It's such an exciting experience to go with maybe your mom and pick out a new comforter and all these little storage bins and everything that you think you're gonna need, but odds are you probably won't need. There are so many affordable options. If you know someone that just came out of college, try to get stuff secondhand from them. That will save you so much money. We had a lot of secondhand stuff. I personally had a secondhand rug. I had a secondhand chair that we used all the time. I also had a secondhand desk lamp and some bins and it was so helpful and nobody knew that they were secondhand or would care if they did know. So also, Target is not the cheapest place to go for dorm decor. I know everyone goes there and it has some really cute pieces, but honestly, you can find some cheaper and cuter stuff at like TJ Maxx. And you don't really need to buy tons of new stuff, especially those gimmicky like plastic storage containers. You're probably never gonna use those. I personally wouldn't buy much storage until you get to your dorm and see what you have. Odds are you don't have pictures of your dorm and if you wait until you get there, you're gonna know what you actually need instead of overbuying all this stuff. I personally would not buy many plastic storage bins at all. You're not going to use those after you get out of the dorms, so it's kind of a waste of money because you don't want to have all that gimmicky stuff once you move into a real house. Also, I would recommend getting a white comforter. I know that this is a weird tip, but you have to keep in mind that your tastes are probably going to change and, for example, last year I got a gray comforter and it's just not as versatile. It's not something that you can use for a couple years. You don't want to be using this stuff for just one year and then throwing it out. That's so wasteful and it's also such a waste of money. There's no reason to spend outlandish amounts of money just for something that you're probably only going to use one to two years anyways. While we're at this tip, may I just add, do not buy your textbooks or school supplies yet. You don't know what you're going to need for a class. You don't know if you're going to be taking notes in every class. Odds are you're not getting paper handouts, so why you would get binders for every class? You don't know what you're going to get, so wait till you get to school. You're going to have a syllabus week where they're going over kind of things you need, so I would recommend buying one notebook before going to school going to classes and just taking that one notebook. Do not buy your textbooks until you know for sure that they are 100% required. And if they are not required, if they're just suggested, don't use them because you're not gonna read them. I did not use a single textbook last year and I have a good GPA. Like, I just would definitely recommend holding off on textbook school supplies and also storage solutions for your dorm because it's gonna save you money. The next tip also relates to the dorms and it is to set boundaries with your roommate right away. I was really lucky in the fact that me and my roommate Madison ended up getting along really well and she's now one of my best friends, but that doesn't happen for everyone. And that's okay, but you have to live with this person regardless. You need to set boundaries right away so that you in the least can live with each other in a civil environment because you don't want to feel kind of ousted from your room. Crazy roommates do exist. I've met a couple people with not so great roommates, but if you are a good roommate and you set your boundaries, it's more likely that your roommate's gonna be good to you. So, with that being said, there are some topics that you need to discuss right away. Fill out a contract of some sort with your RA talking about your roommate and everything that's gonna go on in your room. So, the basic things you need to talk about are sleep schedule. When are you guys gonna be waking up? Don't be that roommate that sets six alarms and gets up on the sixth one. You also need to talk about temperature of the room. That was the only place that me and Madison ever fought. Um, she liked to keep the room warm, I like to keep it cold, so it was just something where we had to find a middle ground. <laughs> we also need to talk about cleaning the room, who's going to, you know, vacuum every once in a while, who's going to take out the trash. If you are more of the clean roommate, 
then you might have to be the one that that falls on because if they don't care there's no reason for them to constantly be cleaning right so um, just keep those kind of things in mind also you really really need to have those uncomfortable conversations that revolve around alcohol are you going to have alcohol in the room if there's alcohol in the room who's to blame for it know your university's rules on that obviously Drinking underage is illegal, but that's not to say it doesn't happen. You should just talk about it. Also, you need to talk about drugs. One boundary I set was that I didn't ever want drugs in the room. Obviously, Madison was okay with that. Then you also need to talk about bringing significant others back. It's just easier if you have those conversations up front um, and say, hey, I might want to bring them back. Just text me if you're going to bring someone back to the room and things like that. It's just really a lot more beneficial to have those conversations up front because you don't have to worry about fights over confusion later. If you set the boundaries right away, you know you're right if they are broken. It just makes your roommate experience so much better and I hope you are best friends with your roommate. I really hope you do find a friend in them, but if you don't, it's okay. You just have to live with them for a year. Next tip I have for college freshmen is the party culture is just as big as it is in movies, if not bigger. There is a huge party culture at college. Lots of kids get caught up in it and honestly, you have to remember that you are there to learn. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I haven't had alcohol before or anything. There is absolutely no pressure to drink if you don't want to or go to parties, but I will say that most of the friendship making happens in those kind of social situations. It's just the reality of the situation. I came to college from a high school where we didn't really party that much. No one had big college parties, like even close. We just didn't really have a culture around that at my high school, so it was a huge shock going to Ohio State and like seeing everything before me. And it kind of freaks me out and I kind of didn't go out a ton my first semester because I was just not into that. I slowly warmed up to it, but it did really prevent me from making friends because a lot of people make friends through going out and things like that. So I just want you to keep that in mind. Don't feel the need to drink, no one will care, but I just, want you to know that a lot of people do make friends that way. I have tons of friends that either go out and don't drink or just don't go out at all and nobody really cares to be honest. If you set your boundaries right away and say, listen, I don't really want to drink, people will respect that. No one normal is going to like force you to drink. That just doesn't happen. I think a lot of people would assume that kids are constantly like putting peer pressure on kids, but never have I once told a friend who's just told me, hey, I don't want to drink. Never have I once pressured them into drinking or anything. None of our friends have. Purely just a personal choice. So whether you want to go out and not drink or not go out at all or go out and have a fun time, that's up to you. You just need to realize that school comes first because everyone needs to study at different rates. Everyone can go out different amounts. You might not be able to go out as much as your friends. Let's just be honest here. You might need to study some of the days they go out and you just have to realize that and be, you know, an adult about it. Part of college is growing up and realizing that there's a balance between that like work of school and the party culture and all the other things going on in between. So please, please, please keep up on your studies, but just realize that if you drink or don't drink, that doesn't relate to how cool you are and you should never feel pressured to if you don't want to. Also, I want to say be safe around alcohol. Realize that it is not legal for you to be doing it. There are a lot of dumb mistakes you can make and get an underage. Know your limits, know when to stop. I see a lot of freshmen that don't know their limits. People talk about signifiers of freshmen like dressing up on the first day of school or carrying a big backpack around campus. And honestly, that's not what clues you in on being a freshman. People know the freshmen because they're the ones that are falling all over themselves on the first two weekends. Just be safe about it. Keep in mind that it is illegal. There will be police out and if you're tripping over yourself, they're more likely to stop you and ask for IDs and stuff. So please, please be safe. Have fun, but keep in mind your future is at stake if you're making dumb decisions. Just remember that there is a big party culture and it can be really fun. It's one of the cooler parts of college. Don't get too wrapped up in it where you're not able to focus on other parts of the day. Fourth tip relates to making friends and it's you're gonna have to try if you want to make friends. So basically in high school friends kind of fall into your lap, right? You have certain classes with people. The classes are small. You're going to the cafeteria every day. You have sports that you're leaning on to make friends. In college, you most likely don't have a lot of that. You're gonna have to join clubs for yourself. Please scout out clubs. Not only do they look good on a resume, but they really help you find people with common interests. 
if you were considering rushing, I would say just go for it. Um, I was one of the people who didn't know if they wanted to do a sorority, but ended up loving mine. I just think that if you want to make friends, you're really going to have to try, and that's something that I didn't realize. There's going to be an uncomfortable period where you don't really have friends yet, you don't really have a group, you're not totally comfortable with everyone, but you're surrounded by everyone and you're still like kind of lonely. There's a whole period of that that you're going to have to deal with freshman year, and honestly, it helps you grow as a person because you realize who you are, you know, just not being surrounded by people all the time. If you do want to make friends, you definitely can. You're never going to be surrounded by this many people in your life again, so I would definitely recommend reaching out and making a ton of friends. Branch out from your high school friends. I didn't have anyone from my high school class go to Ohio State, and I used to hate that because everyone had these friend groups already formed, but it helped me so much in the long run because it taught me to put myself out there and make new friends, and I would just recommend constantly branching out. Even if you do have people from your high school, try not to room with them. Try not to constantly hang out with them. Branch out. You're never going to be around this many people in your life, again, that really just genuinely want to be friends with you and are all of different backgrounds. Put yourself out there. Get out of your dorm, and I just think that will go so much better. I think everyone says this, put yourself out there more, but really, it's true. If you want to make friends, you're going to have to try to do it. The last tip I have is that this is a fresh start and you're not the best anymore. <laughs> so this is a bit harsh, right? Um, I think a lot of people don't realize this going into college, which makes it a huge culture shock. You may have gotten a really great score in your ACT or been football captain or maybe you like led your swim team to state or something, but it doesn't matter because now that you're in college, there are 10 other kids that did that and 10 kids that are so much better that they're on the swim team. Whatever you had that made you special that got you into this college, everyone did this and now you're on an even playing field. And I'm not saying you shouldn't talk about high school or anything like that because you probably accomplished some really cool things and you should be proud of those. But you're in college now and it's just not useful to compare yourself to others. There will be people that talk about their ACT scores or their AP exams or how many credits they came in with and honestly, it doesn't matter. We're all in the same place now. So really embrace that and do the best you can to achieve great things in college because honestly, if you try really hard, you will. I hope this video was helpful and maybe you learned something or got prepared a little more. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you would like to see more videos from me, please subscribe. I would love you to become a part of this channel. We've been growing pretty steadily and I'm really excited about it. Also, give this video a thumbs up because it helps out. And again, comment down below. Do you have any questions? Where are you going to school? I want to know. I'm curious. Tell me all about why you chose that school and everything. I just really love talking to you guys. So if you would like to keep even more updated on my life, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at YT Serbo. I'm constantly posting pictures and talking to you guys. So I would love if you did that. But thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your freshman year and have an amazing day. Bye.